Alright guys, so today they announced the release date for uh, Total War Attila and stuff about the um, what you get for pre-ordering it and uh, oh yeah the special edition. <clears throat> so it will be coming all out on February 17th, it's available for pre-order from the Sega store and other retailers worldwide. I checked GameStop earlier this morning, their website anyway. And it's not on there yet, so I would give it a day or two before um, anything goes on there. And again, I haven't checked since this morning, so who knows. <laughs> now, for pre-ordering it, you get um, the Viking Forefathers Culture Pack, which adds three additional factions to the game. The Janes, the Dutes, and the Gates. And I actually think uh, someone... There we go. So, the Geats, or the Gates, um, they're basically a faction from southern Sweden. The Danes, obviously you can tell from the names, they're from uh, the main two islands of Denmark. And the Jutes, which are now Albi, which I believe the Chimbri are now in Total War Rome 2, and I actually think they have that same settlement. So as you can see, they really have each other to contend with in the beginning. Or obviously, you could just go straight to invading into the mainland. Now, before we get on the stuff about the special edition, what do I think about pre-order bonuses? Personally, I think people are still really upset, mostly because of the Greek states thing and um, uh, and just Rome 2's release in general. Because I feel like if they were in the game and no one ever um maybe they didn't have anything in there like no pre-order bonus for them no one would care probably i feel like people are still mad about it and the one thing is i don't really think about this as pre as pre-purchase dlc i always think of it as the way it used to be where it was like a pre-order exclusives where you pre-order the game you get the stuff that you can't get you can't get afterwards now that was always really cool some people were sour i would encourage you to get the game uh pre-order the game, we got some cool stuff that was really exclusive. And obviously after a while, they would tend to like after maybe a good year after the release, maybe, they would make it so, alright, maybe if you didn't pre-order the game, here, now you can, for like a, for a price, you can now get the stuff that people pre-ordered pre for. And that's what I feel like here. To where I feel like people think of it as day one DLC, and maybe, maybe they're right in that aspect. Well, they are right, because obviously it is day one, but I don't. I feel like it's that one where we say, "All right, you pre you didn't pre-order the game, and now you want it. Well, here you can have an option to get it. However, because you didn't pre-order it like every, like anyone else who did, you're not going to be able to get it for free like they did. That's my personal opinions on it. It doesn't bother me at all. The Exoplanets pack for Civ uh, Revolution didn't bother me. The Greek states. I kind of wish it wasn't the Greek states that were taken out for Rome too. Maybe another fashion's like um. The Nobads would have been a great one to make deals to make um, pre-order DLC or something. But uh, I just think pre-order DLC is something that doesn't bother me that much. Now, obviously, let's look at the special edition, which I will be getting, and I'll show you guys my stuff when I get it. Obviously, in the 17th. Oh, well, system we items not available in the digital version. You get Attila the Hun biography, written by this dude. Um, you get a reference guide poster. Double side poster features an original Total War Attila campaign map artwork on one side and a comprehensive playable fashion reference guide on the other. And you obviously get the Viking Forefathers pack. And pretty much. I could have sworn because the actual picture of it had a. I mean, I could have sworn that there was, like, a legitimately, um, like, a picture of it. Oh, crap. Ugh. Uh, let's look at that. Look at it. Hold on. Show edition. Uh, 
I mean, I could have sworn to God that there was a um, picture of it somewhere. Maybe I'm just blind? Hmm. Now, because I'm a jerk, you are definitely going to watch me do this. I know, I think there's another thread somewhere that people are talking about it. So, Huns, playable, time for speculation. Oh, and, ah, here we go, this is what I was looking for. Uh, there we go. Total War Adila, Attila, yeah, I know it's a different language. Get over it. New 64-page biography, uh, Attila the Hun. So you get this campaign map here. And wah. This is game of three discs. Jesus Christ. So I still don't think it's as cool as Room 2 had like that stupid game or whatever that no one ever played. I know I couldn't figure out to get it how to play it, even after I uh, basically printed them off online on paper. I do like the case. I'll definitely leave that there sitting in my desk. Obviously three new factions and my opinion on the special edition, obviously, I have no clue how much it costs yet. And also, one little thing right there, because if you look at it, right there, it looks, if you can see my cursor, which I think you can, if you notice, it says Huns. You notice this little map looks like a map of Asia. Or I'm just an idiot that can't tell cartography from this far away but also um, that little picture right there looks an awful lot like this so maybe the Huns will end up being playable and they're just trolling us all along or maybe we'll troll everyone and saying oh well you pre-ordered now you get to play as the Huns so I'm really excited for um I'm excited for this I know that the data is there now obviously there's still some time till it comes out and obviously, un until then, I'm definitely going to read up more on uh, Attila. Well, not just a well, not just Attila. Just, I don't like reading things about this one person. Just more about the time period. I know some. However, I definitely don't know as much about this time period as I do the time period that regular Rome Two takes place. So, down in the comments below, um, leave your opinion on this. What do you think about the new DLC? Um, the day one DLC about it. Do you think it's just a pre-order bonus that they're just giving you an option to get it later if you didn't want it, if you technically know that, oh, maybe I should have pre-ordered it to get it? Or do you think it's them taking content out of the game and making you have to pay for it later and basically just wanting your money now? And what do you think about these three new factions? How do you think they're going to play? Do you think the Huns will be playable? Because that looks pretty uh, close to it. And do you, how do you think about the special edition? Again, there's no prices for it yet, at least that I know of. So, um, I guess that's about it, guys. So, I guess I'll catch you guys later. And now you can look at this. And peace!